here is uh, our guest, Andrea, from uh, Volk. So we will ask you a few questions about uh, Volk in general, and then you will explain something maybe about design. So first, can you tell us something about Volk, about the name? I'm very curious about the name, uh, why Volk? Yeah. And in general, what is your target, uh, what are you doing as a designer and so? Yeah. Um, so, um, walk came from uh, the acronym, like the the of of the word uh, walnut and oak, because the company, as traditionally, was uh, is a is a manufacturing company who make components and uh, uh, boards for uh, furniture industry since many years, and uh, when they created uh, their own brand, they want to. Uh, to be close to the materic uh, part of their of their uh, daily job, but they want to be unique, quite quite special. So that the this uh, um, uh, like uh, union of the the two the two names uh, inspired this uh, this new name, which is uh, which is woke. Um, mainly, we want to do design in solid wood. That's the the thing we want to create like so yes so it's a new it's a it's a new brand which want to investigate the possibility the creativity the design could bring to the to the furniture industry industry and uh, and create new stuff we don't have uh, a clear uh, let's say uh, target or objective we 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 try to make conversation with designers uh, which has their own uh, creativity their own sensibility and uh, and with the brand uh, we we try to realize the things together and uh, in order to express on the market a uh, open minded vision of uh, of uh, furniture linked with the uh, design and culture of design okay um so about uh, also about names uh, i saw that your product so so different names so can you explain us um, names of yeah, uh, uh, let's say uh, also with names. So we we always want to work with the, with the designer. So uh, the generally the designer is the one that give the name to the product uh, because uh, most of the time uh, the name is linked uh, with the concept of 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 the design and of the um, of the object. So could be a more like technical name that is maybe. Uh, a meaning for a particular technique, a particular detail, or could be also a funny name sometimes uh, because it's uh, it's literally a kind of uh, you know uh, uh, the object seems uh, not something funny or yeah. ever something some funny proportion or uh, and and that suggests uh, so again we we are very free we don't have any kind of uh, uh, problem with with names. For sure, the name. Uh, sometimes we get obsessed with the the, the, the finding the name and means uh, hours of research and of uh, of attempts uh, because then the name should express something uh, that is close, not to the objects, not just uh, yeah, give the name and the thing. I also saw on your uh, website of Vogue, uh, do you, you don't produce just uh, furniture? You have also the small object. So can you tell us something about this yeah, and sure. what is the idea of it? Uh, literally, uh, producing furniture uh, uh, is, is the main, uh, main uh, activity. But also we were thinking that uh, we have a double opinion about producing also other stuff. The first one was also as a kind of uh, a little bit as a strategic decision which uh, allow us to be more... Uh, visible also to other markets while uh, for myself especially is uh, a nice thing because uh, you change the scale of the object and sometimes the complementary object is more uh, uh, looked by by designer as a considered by designer as a small sculpture so it's the way you design and the approach to design is different and so we want also to make this path which is sometimes less technical and more expressive but we we think that was could be funny on one side and could be strategic on the other. So that's why we choose. Uh, so also you're making art in yeah in this. Uh, 
I mean, in, in some way, we, we, we want that walk express this concept of being a collective of uh, creative people which makes uh, design objects that in some way they can, can be considered aesthetically like a small piece of, pieces of art. Yeah, yeah. So you're a designer, you know, yeah. in uh, Vogue. So can you tell us something about the uh, process? How is working with a company uh, which is like uh, focus on, on wood and um, about about your experience yeah. in this company? For me, when uh, when we met, uh, uh, the nice thing was that they really can manufacture things, which is not uh, uh, granted when you you are talking about uh, um, design brands. Sometimes they they do things in house. Sometimes not. They are just editors and collect you no know, the um, different suppliers. Um, they they knows uh, since many years how to treat wood. And that is the main uh, starting point, which is interesting because they really appreciate the, the the materic part of the of the job also, and the production site is so developed. Um, they have uh, a, a kind of very uh, like a neutral carbon uh, uh, footprint because they uh, can use all the materials in the in the industrial chain inside because they the powder the small part of wood which is discarded to produce uh, furniture then is uh, reused uh, for uh, um, uh, producing like uh, heating components for uh, for uh, the heating uh, like stoves for example or they they reuse for internal uh, heating systems they have solar panel on top so um, the company is very genuine and is very uh, uh, oriented to a, a future no of 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 their activity but of of uh, our uh, environment let's say so ethically was really uh, well well perceived uh, no by mm -hmm. by us um and uh, and on the other side to be so uh, knowledge in solid wood we know that we can do whatever we want and that's perfect for a designer because he can really and especially for an art director because he can call different personalities uh, that express different uh, ideas, different technologies, but they can do it. So that's that's was was uh, my perception was was perfect. No, to to mm -hmm. work together. And how many designers? Uh, I mean, I'm not very very good with numbers, but uh, now I think we are uh, twelve, uh, around twelve designers. So how like you this. communicate uh, all together? Um, every year we 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 choose to work with uh, we together with uh, with uh, with Dalibor. We choose uh, to. To work with some particular designer, which which we we, we decide that they can be the the next uh, the next one, uh, and um, and then uh, we we do with the, we we meet them, uh, we understand their sensibility, which is already a bit uh, declared by what they they already designed, and then uh, we we ask. Uh, we we do different things. Sometimes we ask just to express their idea on solid wood, because we are not searching a particular typology. Mm -hmm. In other cases, we just ask uh, directly what what they want to design, or if we need something, and we understand that maybe this designer can work well with the chair or with the table. Yes, we ask true. directly. Uh, they sure they ask things. They um and uh with uh, with with different ways uh, we 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 try to collaborate we express uh, mm -hmm. the possibilities of the companies the machines they use the handmade uh, uh, like um uh, uh, process yeah. and, um, and like this yeah and uh like for you uh what is your Biggest inspiration when you're designing furniture is is I I never use the same process. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the, uh, I mean it could be a sensation sometimes. Huh? Uh, really, when it's more creative, the 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 outcome uh, is because it's it was more uh, a kind of sensation. Or when I travel, I I find out some uh, very small detail, but it's uh, the detail is just. Um, is not something that literally comes in the object, but it's just a kind of uh, uh, inspiration in terms of uh, 
mm, I try to, to, to understand the, the atmosphere or the, or, the, or the meaning of this detail. And then I work on the idea of this and then I try to design. Some others, uh, I try to process, uh, uh, for example, the first uh, collection we did, we did very fast because we met uh, in April, I think, and then uh, we need to participate to, to, to a fair or something like this, so we have to do something new very, very quick. And um, I know that in the company, uh, producing like, uh, like boards like this, no, they have to stack the wood, and then uh, the first idea was for, to me, okay, I have to design something which stuck the wood in pieces. Yeah. So that's why I, I designed repeta, because repeta is a, a Latin word that means uh, repetition of pieces. Mm -hmm. And that's why it came out, because should be expressive in some way. So that's why it's so articulated and maybe complicated in some way. But, but was the way for me, the quickest way to say, okay, the company makes these, uh, and so why don't we do the same, but yeah. with another shape? Okay, so it really depends uh, on, on the, on the timing yeah. uh, of, of, of the objects. Yeah. Okay, one more question. Uh, how would you describe um, the work as a company, like if you, if you think about aesthetics? Like is it something modern, something traditional, uh, something? That's exactly what we, we don't want to do, yeah. is to define the company. Uh, there's no, um, as I was saying uh, uh, before at the beginning, uh, um, work want to express the creativity of, of design applied uh, with their skills. Um, so there's no, there's no, there's no specific classification. Specific yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, in fact, the, the eclectic uh, appearance of the collection is exactly that, so that at at the end, they stay well together. You can furnish a house with with all those things, uh, and they 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 stay together very very nicely. Uh, but there's no these total look things. We don't want to do it. We we want to um, that every piece uh, express its own identity. So in some way, the collective of the pieces makes something new, but not that has no definition in some way. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. It was nice to talk yeah. to you. It was a pleasure. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.